Hi guys, welcome to today's Facebook video. I'm Zoe and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some toadstools. Now I've gone pretty large with these ones guys so you can go a little bit smaller than what I have done. I'm using modeling paste, I'm using the Saracino modeling paste. It's pretty warm in here so I've added some Tylos or CMC, you can use either to the paste just to help firm it up a bit. Usually I wouldn't do this with modeling paste but because it's so warm and I was doing this as a Facebook Live, guys. So this was a Facebook Live. I've sped it up a little bit. Tried to cut some of the boring bits out for you for it to go onto the YouTube channel. So as well as the white, I'm gonna use some pre-colored Fuchsia Serotonin Modeling Paste, and that will form part of the top of the toadstool. Now, I don't know if it's toadstool or mushroom, guys. I know that in uh, the Facebook Live, some people said that it's more mushroom if it's edible, is it? And toadstool if it's not, I'm not sure. I'm sure you guys can tell me. Also, I don't know the different names for the different parts. So we're starting by rolling a piece of white for the, is it the stalk, the trunk of the mushroom, the stem, I'm not sure what it's called. I'm just putting some lines all the way down. Now this tool I'm using is, I believe it's called a golf tool. I'll put the links below the video to everything that I have used, just so you can see. But you could use a Dresden tool if you wanted instead to create some lines, just so there's some texture on there. I'm going to push a wooden skewer all the way through as well, just to help support it. Now I've got two of these on the go. Like I say guys, you can go much smaller. Give it 10 minutes or so to firm up, and then with a sharp craft knife, you're going to kind of slice down the edges. Keep it sort of thin piece that you're slicing, you don't want to cut it off and it wants to curl over. If you cut in too deep, it won't curl over like this, and also if it's a little bit soft, it won't either, so you know, give it 10 minutes to firm up. Don't leave it overnight though, because you might find it's too firm to get your knife through. So I'm gonna take a small piece of modeling paste in white. Now, if you want guys, you could use flower paste for this. Also, I've put the weights for all the different pieces I've used. They're in the Facebook Live version, which is the longer version of the video, and you can find that over on the Zoe's Fancy Cakes Facebook page. So that's where you'll find the real time version. So this is a nice long piece, thin the edge with a bit of a Dresden tool, we've cut it nice and thin, and I'm just gonna stick it around the trunk slash stalk, or whatever it's called on a mushroom, guys. Uh, just using some water, you can use edible glue if you prefer. It's quite long, so I'm just gonna wrap it around twice. And you're going fairly close to the top of your stem for this. Just cut it off. Careful of your fingers, and then let's put some more lines in with that golf tool. So remember guys, everything I use in the video, I will link below so you can find it. I do have an online website, so you can find most of the things on my website anyway that I use. So just lift the edges up gently if you can. Flick them out a little bit. We'll do the same on the other one. Just blend it in a little bit. So this is called a cat tongue tool, that one that I'm just using there. It just helps blend things together a little bit. Sometimes if you add a bit of water as well, that can help blend the modeling paste together. If you wanted to swap and use modeling chocolate for this, you absolutely could do. But like I say, I think if you're putting it on a cake, you're gonna find it easier to go smaller. Because it was a Facebook Live and I'm not gonna use these on a cake, I've gone pretty large with these. And I think what I might do is some more Facebook Lives where we can make things that will go with this. So somebody asked if I could create a grass effect for them to sit on. And then maybe we'll do some insects, like an ant and things in future Facebook Lives to go with these. So for making the top, I've used a semicircle of polystyrene. You can use solid paste if you want, or you can use Rice Krispie Treats. Like I say, mine's not gonna be eaten, but just having a piece of polystyrene in there is gonna reduce the weight a little bit. So it's gonna help stick it to the top of the stalk as well, without it sort of crushing the stalk too much. So we've added white paste all to the bottom of it. And then I've taken another piece of white paste and we're kind of flattening it down a little bit with our hand, but leaving it slightly dome shaped because this is gonna be the underside of the mushroom. Now, somebody did tell me what this part was called in the Facebook Live. In fact, there are a few parts that people told me the names of and I've forgotten, so I apologize. One of them I do remember because I thought it sounded quite rude. Um, but yeah, so I'm just putting that on the top of the mushroom just so I can see how it fits. I think we might drag it a little bit bigger. I've kind of pressed in the middle a bit with my rolling pin so it dips in that center as well. And then I'm gonna take some fuchsia paste. It's quite a large amount, I would say, that I've got here. Again, off the top of my head, I apologize, guys, that I cannot remember the amount. I've just put some corn flour on there, that's what I'm dusting off. Um, but you can find it on the Facebook Live, which is still available to watch on my Facebook page if you want to watch the longer version. So we're gonna press the pink down over the top of the polystyrene, stretching it all the way to the edges. Don't bring it around the bottom, though, because our separate white piece is gonna cover the bottom. Just test the white against the pink for size. Just check that they fit together, that the white comes to the edge of the pink. And then we'll remove that and we'll stick it on later. 
So I'm just changing the shape of the mushroom cap just a little bit by kind of pressing in with my hands. I'm going to use a Tiffany colour for the other mushroom cap, or the top part of the mushroom, I'm, or toadstool, I'm not sure what it's called, sorry guys. Okay, so I just like the pink and the white firm up a tiny bit before pushing them together, just because, like I say, it's very hot in here, and they were squashing quite easily, so they're just giving them that 10 minutes to firm up has helped a little bit. And I've just used some water to stick them together, but you might want to use edible glue. I'm just pressing in with my dresden tool just to make some lines. You could swap and use a knife if you want. Go from the outside edge towards the middle. And if you're wondering why I've got the pouch of cornflour underneath, it's just that it hasn't fully firmed up. It's quite soft, it's quite warm in here. And it's just stopping like my fingers making marks in the back of it by having that cornflour pouch between my hand and the mushroom cap. You could even use that golf hair marking tool for it as well. Have a play around with different tools, guys, and see which one leaves like the deepest marks or the marks that you prefer best. We're just gonna try and repeat the same with the other mushroom cap. Uh, again, I've put a small piece of polystyrene in, not very big in this one. And uh, on this one, I think I, what I want to do is make it wider than the other one. So not as tall, but wider, so that we've got two different shaped caps. So remember guys, if you want to see the amounts of paste, because I apologize, I can't remember what they were, there is information on the video on the Facebook page on my Facebook page where the full video is and in there you can watch me do it live or in, in real time and see the quantities I'm using. We're just going to create the same kind of shape again with the white paste which we've got under the cap on the Tiffany mushroom. Just stick the white and the Tiffany together and if you want to add any colour to the stalks or stems you could use powders or food colours. I'm just using some pens. I have some pens next to me. I haven't got the powders to hand, so I'm just gonna use these pens. I'm gonna kind of draw lines on. You can use a few different colors. These are edible pens, guys, that I'm using, fractal edible pens, so it's not just any felt pen. Although I'm not gonna eat these anyway, but it's still edible. And I'm just taking a damp brush, so it's got a little bit of water on the end of the brush, and I'm just rubbing it up and down just to kind of blend those colors together so that there's slightly less harsher lines. Now, I did find a pot of um, lavender colour powder, so I'm just trying to add that, although it's very pale in colour, so you don't really see it very well, that one. Let's put some lines in the edge of our mushroom caps. Before they have a chance to dry too much, I think I want to put some texture in. So again, just using that dressing tool, we're just going to put some lines in. Try not to have them all the same height as each other. See if you can get some shorter, some longer, some a little bit deeper. I think it just makes it look a little bit more interesting on the caps of those mushrooms. So now let's add some little white dots to our mushroom cap. Of course, you can paint these on with food coloring or like you can use one of the white edible pens that they do. I'm gonna just use paste. So I'm just taking pinches of white paste and I'm just sticking them on. And I'm not aiming for circles. I actually want them all to be slightly different sizes and a little bit uneven looking. And I've taken them right to the edge of the pink like so. And then let's go for slightly different on this Tiffany colored one. So I'm just adding a little bit of water and then we're gonna put some pieces on they're kind of pointy so I've just stretched the paste and as I've stretched it, it brings it out in these little points and I'm just sticking these points on. I don't think I like this one as much, I think I prefer the polka dots but I wanted to keep them both a little bit different. You could play around with different patterns and colours on the top of your mushrooms. To stick it on, you're just going to push it onto that wooden skewer. Now if you're going to put this on a cake guys, I would go smaller like I say because it's very heavy. Or it might be that if you want to keep them big, that you put them on the side of the cake, so balance them on the board against these sides, so they're leaning kind of against the side of the cake. Or you might have to build some grass and things around them to help them balance, because these are very big, quite heavy. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit more detail to these mushrooms, guys, just before I commit to sticking the caps on properly. Also guys, don't put the caps on your stalks until you're happy that the stalks are pretty well set. You don't want them to be super soft, otherwise the mushroom caps are gonna sink down the stalk of it. Sorry, I, I call the different parts different things now each time I talk about them. I usually, guys, I don't work with my ring on because it can make marks in the icing of what I'm doing. Also, the icing gets stuck in it. It was so hot when I was making this that my fingers had, swell, had swollen up and I couldn't actually get the ring off, but usually my preference would be to take the ring off. Again, let's just curl over the edges. Because I realise I haven't done it on this one and I had the other one. And again, let's just add some colour. Just using the edible fractal pens. And just brushing them out to dilute them a little bit with a damp brush. Now this brush I do really like. Again, I'll put links to it below. So we'll add some more pen further up the stalk as well. Brushing it down, diluting it with a damp brush. I hope you're enjoying the video guys. 
don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. I'm also going to add some more color I think to the top to the cap of the mushroom and I'm just using those same pens so I've got like a turquoise one a sky blue let's add a bit of purple kind of coloring it in the edges now it is darkening the top of my mushroom quite a bit but that's fine I like to have a bit of a play around sometimes see how it ends up again blending it out with a damp brush remember guys you don't have to use the pens if you've just got some food color or some edible powders that you want to dial it down or even put on as dry dusts you can do that too or of course you can leave it without any extra colors on the edge you don't have to add these bits definitely darkened it a bit uh, I'm just gonna do the same on the other one I'm just gonna add a bit of color once you're happy with them you can pop the tops back onto the mushroom stems and there we are all done so you see I made a smaller one with a little fairy on. The fairy is in another uh, YouTube video, guys, which is already on my YouTube channel, so you can catch that now. And of course, you can find the full version over on my Facebook page. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. See you next time. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.